1,700 people now. Uh, and we've been having very large turnouts throughout the state. Uh, I think there is a momentum for our campaign and for the issues that we are talking about. And I do believe, from the bottom of my heart, that if we work hard in the next five or six weeks, we stand a good chance to win here in Iowa. began this campaign, uh, we started in national polls at you know, 3 5 percent and relatively few people around the country outside of New England knew who I was, but we've come a long way uh, in the last seven or eight months. And I think the reason for that, the reason why we're doing well in New Hampshire, why we're doing well here in Iowa, is that the message that we are bringing forth is that in this great country there is something profoundly wrong when ordinary Americans are working longer hours for lower wages and almost all of the new wealth and income is going to the top 1%. And what the American people understand, whether you're progressive, whether you're conservative, whether you're Democrat, Republican, moderate, whatever you may be, that is not the kind of economy we need. We need an economy that works for working families and not just for a handful of billionaires. Right. You may remember, I don't know how many of you saw the debate on Saturday night, but uh, my friend Hillary Clinton was asked whether or not she would like uh, corporate America to like her. <laughs> and you know, in life, all of us would like to be liked by everybody. It's kind of human nature. Me too. But, <laughs> but in the real world, given where we are right now, we need a president who is prepared to stand up to the greed of corporate America, to the greed of Wall Street, and to tell them that they will no longer, through their policies, destroy the middle class and working families of this country. And I suspect that the policies that we're going to fight for are not going to find me beloved by Wall Street or corporate America. That's the way it is. I, I can live without their love. We are going to stand up to them and we're going to take them on. And the other issue that I think is really resonating uh, all across this country is the understanding that not only is our economy rigged in the sense that almost all new wealth and income go to the people on the top, but that we have a corrupt campaign finance system. And I think people, again, whether they're conservative or progressive or whatever, whatever, understand that American democracy is not about billionaires being able to buy elections. And together, not only are we going to overturn this disastrous Citizens United Supreme Court decision, but we are going to move to create the most vibrant democracy in the world. We're going to move to a public funding of elections. We're going to have one of the highest voter turnouts in the world, not one of the lowest. Yeah. And the truth is that when ordinary people get involved in the political process, and that is what this political revolution is about, that's when we make profound change. Because change throughout history never ever comes from the top down. It always comes from the bottom on up. Yeah. And that's what this campaign is about. It is a grassroots campaign. I am extremely gratified, extremely gratified that we have hundreds of thousands of people in 50 states in this country and many thousands here in Iowa who are prepared to knock on doors, make telephone calls, and get involved in this campaign. And many of you are in this room right now, and I thank you very, very much for all that you're doing. And when we talk about the success of the campaign, I think one of the reasons we have kind of caught fire around the country 
is that people want to be treated as if they were intelligent human beings. They want to have a real discussion about real issues. They don't want gossip. They don't want negativity. They want a real discussion about real issues. And one of the issues that we have been focusing on is the fact that we must deal aggressively with climate change. We must transform our energy system. So whether the Koch brothers and the fossil fuel industry like it or not, we are going to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel to energy efficiency and sustainable energy. We're going to lead the world doing that. Yeah. And yes, everybody in this room knows that ISIS and terrorism are very serious threats to the United States and the entire world. Together, we are going to destroy ISIS. But it is not enough for us to be tough. We have also got to be smart. We've got to do it in a smart way. And the smart way is to understand and learn the lessons of Iraq, and that is the United States can and should not do it alone. The nightmare, and I can see it, and I think some of my Republican colleagues are pushing us into this nightmare scenario, is the United States getting bogged down in a never-ending war in the quagmire of the Middle East. I will do everything that I can to prevent that. What our job is now is to put together an international coalition. And if you listen to people like King Abdullah of Jordan, what he says, not me, what he says is that on the ground, this war is about the soul of Islam and that the Muslim nations, Jordan and the rest, have got to lead the effort against ISIS, against those groups that are hijacking Islam and that the Muslim nations themselves are going to have to take on ISIS on the ground. And I believe that's right. I believe that the United States, UK, France, Germany, Russia, we have to have a broad coalition to support the Muslim efforts on the ground to destroy Iraq, and that's what I will do as President of the United States. Right, so let me just conclude uh, by thanking all of you for doing what too few Americans are now doing. You know and I know that there is an enormous amount of political disillusionment in this country. You know and I know that millions of people have given up on the political process. People are not voting, people don't believe politicians, and so forth and so on. What we have got to understand that this fight is not just about electing Bernie Sanders. This fight is about a political revolution, bringing millions of people in the political process, and transforming America. And we cannot do that. We cannot have a government which represents working families unless millions of people stand up not just for themselves, stand up for the kids, stand up for your parents, and create a government which represents all of us, not just a handful of billionaires. So what you are doing, and I mean this sincerely, I'm the former chairman of the Senate Veterans Committee, and I work with veterans from World War II to Iraq and Afghanistan. These folks have put their lives on the line. Some of them have died defending American democracy. And what this campaign is about is saying we are going to revitalize American democracy. We're not going to allow a handful of families, just because they're billionaires, to run this country. We're going to involve millions of people in the political process. And we are going to create an economy and a society in which all of our people do well, not just the handful on top. 
So thank you all very much for being here. Let's go forward today.